All right, everybody, welcome to the CREAM Real Estate Investors. If you're new to the channel, the CREAM stands for cash flow, real estate, and money. My name is Dave Perchin. I have RJ Papino by my side, and we are full time real estate investors and entrepreneurs. We have over 15 years' experience and have completed over 1,000 real estate transactions. We actively own, control, and manage a real estate portfolio. We buy over 100 properties every year. And we know how to make money in real estate no matter what is going on in the market or the economy. Our goal is to add value and help you on your path to being a successful real estate investor. We do real estate every single day, and it's our pleasure to be able to share our experiences with you and help you on your journey. You can find us on Instagram by using our names. It's at RJ Papino and at the real Dave P. And then on TikTok at the real RJ Papino. Make sure you like this video if it provides some value or inspires any new ideas. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to turn notifications on so you can stay updated when our newest content comes out. And feel free to leave any questions you may have in the comments. This way we can all continue to learn and grow together. If you'd like to go even deeper, visit us online at www.risewiththecream.com. And that's where you will find our trainings and resources to further help you take your real estate investing business to the next level. We have a great video for you today. And as always, we're very grateful to have you here with us. Mr. Papino, what are we talking about here today? So I, so I'm on TikTok a lot, as you guys know, and um, I think it's a great platform to gain some organic um, views. And I did a video while we were in, um, in CG and the video was around a question that we had. Question is this, if I had $150,000 liquid, how, what would you do? How would you invest that $150,000? And the example that we um, put in this one minute, you know, video, not a lot of time on TikTok, uh, was that we would use leverage. As, as many of you guys know, the interest rates are really low right now. Um, there's a lot of money out there available. Um, and we use, obviously, we use leverage all the time. We use private lenders. And then we go and refinance uh, with, with local banks. We do the first strategy. So... We're big believers in getting into good debt versus bad debt. Good debt pays you, bad debt, you pay it. And in this example video, there is a lot of people just unaware that you can buy a fixed up single family house for $150,000 that's rented for $1,500. And that hits the 1% rule, like a minimum of 1%. And, um, there's a lot of back and forth and, you know, in TikTok, when, when there's conversation going back and forth, that makes the um, video go a little bit viral. And so this, this video did, and there was a lot of banter back and forth with people. And I think they were just in markets where the, uh, the home prices are just so high, you know, 150,000 there is like a garage. Um, and, and we know this because we have friends in the California markets. We have friends in um, you know, the East Coast markets where the, the price of a single family home, the medium price is around three hundred four hundred thousand dollars $400,000. So it was just completely way over their head. They had no idea that you can actually get a single family home today in our markets and we're in Ohio uh, and we stick to the affordable markets. So we see this kind of all the time, you know, like we're buying several houses this week that's going to hit the 1%. And we like to stay in the eighty to one hundred fifty thousand dollar ARV ranges. Um, there's a lot of, you know, here's why. There's a lot of buyers there, first time home buyers there, renters. Uh, there's you can do you can do um, more exit strategies there. There's just plenty more options there than, you know, staying and um, playing in that four hundred five hundred million dollar price points. Now, can you make good money in those price points in the luxury markets? Yeah, but there's also a lot of risks. And if there's a, a change in, you know, the interest rates, whether it goes up one point, you're going to see that affect real estate investors more in the luxury markets than you would in the affordable housing markets. So we're here today to explain that, guess what, you know, in that example, if you wanted to use the, you know, 
the, the question is again, is $150,000, where would you go and invest it? And we broke it up into five houses that you could buy here in our market, which is Ohio. Um, in retrospect, we're gonna talk about how you can actually find deals in let's say California, um, but it takes, it takes some hard work. You're gonna have to do some negotiating. You're gonna have to probably sift through a lot of deals because what, what we've seen in California, it's just a very competitive market. Um, I, I wouldn't invest there. If I did, I would just wholesale, which is, you know, you're just trading properties. You're not really investing, but, um, and, and fix and flip buy and hold is, it's a totally different animal there. So we're going to talk about, um, the example that Dave has on, you know, now taking this money and actually going into, into California and what we would do there. So we have a good example for you, Dave. Yeah, I mean, so we put we put it on TikTok is what you're saying here, RJ. And um, we said what we would do with $150,000 would, would be put 20% down on five $150,000 houses to acquire five rentals by putting 20% down. And I think a lot of the feedback you were getting is, oh, you cannot do that in, in our market. You know, houses are 400, 500,000 in our market. You can't do that. Okay, well, maybe you can't buy five houses but with that $150,000, you can still get involved in real estate. But, um, and we're going to break down a deal here for you coming to you from Riverside, California, where the particular deal we're looking at is valued at $475,000. Now I have a quote for everybody and I want you to, you know, quote me on this. And this is uh, the dead honest truth is no one ever built wealth in real estate by paying retail for anything. So, you know, yes, you can do this in markets where home, homes are valued 400, 500,000, but you're not paying 400 or 500,000. You gotta be able to get yourself a good deal and you can reference our fundamentals course where we get really deep into, you know, finding off market properties. We, uh, I, I consider us experts at finding off market properties. That's how we built our portfolio. Everything's been off market. I don't think we have one rental RJ that we bought on the market that we bought off the MLS, like from a realtor. I don't think we have not even one single property. So you gotta be able to find these things off market. And the example that I'm gonna give you also is a difference in financing. So when we did our example of if we had $150,000, we would use that money as down payments on five $150,000 houses. So we'd be putting 20% down on five houses. Well, in the example that I'm gonna give you, we're not, we're no longer putting, you know, just 20% down and using a conventional loan. You would be using a different type of loan um, where they will give you 90% of the purchase price and 100% of the rehab money. And this is a loan that you're going to see from one of these places like Lending Home or Lima One. And, you know, this, this is the type of program they do. So when you're in a higher ticket market, you also have to consider, you know, change your financing plan a little bit here. Everything's got to change, but ultimately the example I'm going to give you still only has you coming out of pocket $30,000. And I think you will all see that the uh, return on investment is far greater um, than anything you're ever going to get from a bank or bonds. You could make money in the stock market. It's speculative. Everything's overpriced right now. Crypto, of course, is uh, extremely speculative. So we're, we're talking about real money. We're talking about sound money. We're talking about acquiring assets, bolstering your balance sheet, building wealth, creating freedom, and that's what we're all about. So with this said, the address we're referencing, uh, we just found on Zillow, guys. We just you know uh, put, put in Riverside, California, and we found 3046 Molly Street. Can you, can you share your screen, Dave, so you can see the visual? Absolutely. Give me one moment here. In the meantime, tell us about the last deal we did, RJ. Well, the uh, the one that comes to mind is this uh, subject two deal, and you know if you guys aren't familiar with subject two, you're taking over somebody's mortgage with um, uh, a small down payment, and um, this deal actually came from a referral within the company. So our uh, you know virtual office manager, Sherry. Uh, somebody in her network uh, was looking to get into a different house. They had a loan on this house. Um, the good news about this was that the house didn't need a lot of work. It was a newer home in Fairborn, uh, which is a, a good pocket of, of the Dayton area. And so we were able to take over, I think about 50 or so uh, thousand dollars in equity 
um, for a small amount of, of money up front. I think it was, you know, 15,000 or whatever. And we'll be, we'll be closing that this week. And we have a whole course on how to buy property subject to, you can find that rise with the cream.com. It's a nominal fee to learn one of the most powerful real estate acquisition strategies uh, that are available to us. But I am getting ready to share my screen here, RJ. And we are talking about, if you had $150,000, these are the types of deals you could be doing in California. So uh, this particular property is 3046 Molly Street in Riverside, California. And the ARV is right between you know, 450 and 500. So we're calling it 475. And here's the, here's the key. You make your money in real estate when you buy. You get paid when you sell. You make your money when you buy. You make your money when you buy. Drill that into your brain because that's the absolute truth. No one ever got rich in real estate by paying retail. So let's pretend we're buying this property for $300,000. How? Well, it's not from buying it through a realtor on market. It's from a motivated seller. Maybe it's a probate deal. Maybe it's a neglected property, whatever. Just for the sake of example here, okay? It is a real house on the internet, though. You can take a look at this house. We're just using this 300 as an example. And let's pretend it needs $50,000 of work. Well, this particular one, we're not putting 20% down on and just you know paying 475 for it. Instead, we're buying it at a discount, you have to. And the type of loan product we would use is more of a flipper type of loan. And this is gonna be where we put 90% down of the purchase price and then get 100% of the rehab proceeds. So uh, if we're buying it for, um, Three, you know, 300 and we're getting 100% of the, the purchase price, we are getting a loan for uh, 320 But remember, we need 350 right? We need 350 The bank's only going to give us 320 so we got to have a little skin in the game. So that is our out-of-pocket amount of $30,000. And you get this property fixed up, and it's very simple, you know, let's pretend you refi this property out, you know, and a bank will give you 75%. Now, not of the purchase price, but of the value. So if the value is 475 and the bank gives you 75% of the 475, that would be a loan for 356,250. And if you're getting 356,250, you are going to pay back the, the lender, right? The lender who gave you the 320,000 um, and that is gonna leave you and pay you back, you and pay back your $30,000. So you are made whole and you have $6,000 left over, that's 100% tax-free money. So you just made $6,250. And when the bank refis you, let's say they're refining you at 4.5%. Well, I mean, Jay Powell, as, I, as, I, uh, as we recorded this today, uh, it is St. Patrick's Day, 2021. And Jay Powell just spoke today, a big conference, Federal Reserve. They're not planning on raising the rates anytime soon. So 4.5% on a refi is very realistic. In fact, we have numerous going on right now with four and a half percent or less, but let's just pretend for the sake of this example, you're getting four and a half percent. And then you would be getting a, on your $356,000 loan at four and a half percent, your payment is 1803.80. And then you're going to rent this property for $2,300 per month, making you a positive cash flow of $496 and 20 cents. Well, let's just pretend you got to take off some money for taxes and insurance, right? And these are not exact numbers here, everybody. I'm just letting you know the moral of the story is you can make money in these $500,000 price range as well. Maybe you just can't do as many deals. So what? Just do one, build well, start with one house at a time. But if you took out the $300 for taxes and insurance, you'd still be positive $196.20 per month. Um, and you are out of pocket zero, you've been made whole. In fact, you collected 6,250 at the closing. So RJ, you have your calculator there. What is $196.20 times 12? That gives you 2,354. So okay, go ahead. If you're gonna divide that by your 30,000, right? Yeah, but I mean, in this example, you you got your whole thirty thousand dollar back. Your return on investment in this example, when you got your thirty thousand dollar back, is is infinity, right? It's an infinity, uh, you know, return on investment. However, um, let's pretend that you were out of pocket. Let's pretend you paid more for the property and you didn't get the full cash back on the refi. Let's pretend you had to be out of pocket a little bit. So, if you were out of pocket thirty thousand dollars, what would your ROI be there, RJ? be about 
So is 7% seven, 7 better or worse than a bank's gonna pay you? If you put your money in a bank, you're actually losing money. So anything is better than that. Um, and you know, you talk a lot about inflation. Well, it's true. Your, your dollar isn't worth a dollar if you're putting it into a bank. So if you put it into assets, like even like this one, like this one here on Molly Street, make it way more than, it, than you would um, putting it in the bank. When we talk about like where we can put our money, it's a different video. Um, but right now, I highly suggest everybody who's listening to this, watching this, buy some assets because that's how you can hedge against inflation. You got to own assets. And what RJ is talking about is very true. Definitely inflation is upon us. Just look at the commodities prices. That's the key indicator of inflation. But the number one way to protect your dollars from inflation is to own assets. There's no better asset class than affordable real estate or you know single family real estate is by far the best type of real estate because if there's the most practical use you could live there you know the most exit strategies as rj mentioned at the very beginning but this just goes to show you can make money anywhere if you know how to find good deals buy good deals you make your money when you buy you get paid when you sell or refinance or collect monthly rent checks and um you know, you can do this anywhere, anywhere. The only limiting belief is going to be the, you know, the belief that you can't do it. You know, you can't do that where I live. Okay. Well, you know, you can still live where you want. It's a free country. Let's pretend you live in Manhattan, New York, or the Bay area. I mean, these numbers are completely going to be obliterated. You know, you can't do these same numbers. However, you can live somewhere, but invest where it makes sense. I mean, what, what's stopping you from going to where a market um, you know, where the numbers make sense. So don't hold yourself back, everybody. You can definitely do this thing. Um, RJ, bring us on home here. Yeah. So check us out. Um, if you have any, if you have any questions or comments about this example and want to learn more, definitely go to our website. It's risewiththecream.com. There's free resources there. Um, comment below on this video, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube. And we're happy to share some more information about kind of what we're doing every day um and why we like affordable housing you know we invest in our backyard because we are seeing better returns here than we would so in other places um specifically like california so in that example dave gave you that's a seven percent return but the example that i i gave on uh you know in, in tiktok is that we are actually getting 26 percent cash on cash return so um Thank you for watching this. If you have any, uh, you know, questions, that make sure to comment, subscribe, and also check out some of the um, uh, other videos that we have. We have a really good video about how we how we do the Burr strategy, um, and uh, we find that strategy to be um, our path to wealth. And so, with that being said, Dave, I'll send it back to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody! Let's get out there and buy some houses. We'll see you on the next week.